Information today about that deadly rollover crash involving a stolen car and a group of Pompano Beach Middle School students. Two girls were killed in that crash, and now we know where that car was stolen from. Local 10's Nikki Mohan is live with the latest on this investigation. Nikki. Louis, there are still several victims recovering here at Broward Health in Fort Lauderdale. Meanwhile, we talked to the guy who owns that car, and that's not the first time the car has been stolen from in, in front of his own. The owner of the stolen Camry that crashed in Pompano Beach Sunday morning with seven kids inside tells Local 10 he has not spoken to detectives just yet about the crash. He did confirm that it was indeed his car and that it was the second time it had been stolen from outside his home in Coconut Creek. If he was found guilty, y'all will have some handcuffs on him. He'll be arrested, okay? The family of the young man believed to have been driving the car, 14-year-old Elijah Wilson, outraged, disputing the fact that he was the one behind the wheel. Meantime, family members continue to mourn the two lives lost. Anasha Johnson, 13, died at the scene, and Cheyenne Nesmith, 12 years old. Cheyenne's older sister, 13-year-old Tiana Nesmith, was treated for a dislocated shoulder. 12-year-olds Timonzia McDougall and Ashanti Johnson were also injured, as well as 13-year-old Tatiana McKinley. I was just sad and I was crying because people that I know are dying early. Several of them, students at Pompano Beach Middle School, where students are now grieving. No one has been charged in the single car crash. When investigators wrap up their reports, they will then present the file to the state attorney's office, who will ultimately make the decision. Now there's been some confusion as to who was driving the vehicle. Police have pointed to the young man in the car while other family members tell us that one of the other girls was at the front of the wheel. But right now, investigators say they will be they're quite a ways off from wrapping up this investigation. They're just waiting for the victims here to get better and to get statements from everyone. I'm live in Fort Lauderdale. Nikki Mohan, Local 10 News.